really love uh, the whole issue of flight and birds. Uh, it's just amazing to me to see them oh, yeah. so, so effortlessly uh, to be able to just take off, glide, land. We go through a lot of stuff to try to get mechanical things to fly and the, and, and the beauty associated with it as well. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, you can see a number of different forms there. Yeah. There's a lot of doves in here. They're a member of a single uh -huh. created kind. And the one with a really long tail. Oh yeah, the really long tail. Definitely a mating display. That is very attractive to female birds. Oh, is that right? Oh yeah, definitely. Well, Todd, here's the, the question because I've been involved with flight and it's a complex thing. I mean, it's not an easy thing. When we try to take some mechanical thing, you have to have an aerodynamic structure, you have to have a propulsion system, you have to have really light wings, uh, control surfaces, all of those things, and, and it took us a long time before we could just get one up, and yet we see the, these creatures, different, very different creatures, that they do have that naturally. capability. Yeah. yeah. How do yeah. you see that as a biologist? It's amazing. And it's not just birds. So, so if you're thinking of this in sort of evolutionary terms, you'd have amazing attributes like this you would think would have a single origin, but this one has at least four origins. At least four. So we see powered flight in birds. We see it in bats, which are mammals. We see it in pterodactyls, which are birds or mammals. We see it in insects. You've got at least four times that powered flight originated. Mm -hmm. And then you've got all the gliders, you know, the flying squirrels, the flying frogs, the flying fish, all those things that just sort of glide. They still have the aerodynamics, they just can't keep themselves up. Mm -hmm. And for me, I'm thinking, you know, this is a lot easier to explain if God created the flying things and that's where flight came from. I don't have to worry about getting all my ailerons right and all my aerodynamic things and make sure my wing angles are correct. We don't have to think about that more than four or five or what, however many times in evolution because we just have one origin of flying things on day five of creation. It seems to me a lot simpler way of explaining things. So we obviously have a radical difference here between these two paradigms when it comes to the issue of flight. Yeah. So the conventional paradigm, that ability to fly is still coming out of that one trunk, isn't it? It's got to evolve somehow, yeah. Mm -hmm. and so it's going to evolve multiple times. It'll evolve in the bats. It has to evolve in the birds. Uh, when the creation model, you just have one origin of flight because God designed things to fly. All of those complex attributes that all have to be right, well, that's because God made them all that way just to be right. So when we look around, we would expect to see possibly multiple created kinds of birds, and that's exactly what we see. So we've seen here, we've got these dwarf geese and this teal, which is kind of like a duck. That's a single created kind. We've got a number of doves in here. Oh, <laughs> I just flew through. <laughs> that was awesome. A number of doves in here, that are, those are also members of a single created kind. So there's diversity once you have the ability to fly, but the ability to fly isn't the thing that's being generated during that process. It is a unique designed feature of these creatures. So the conventional uh, paradigm would have to somehow come up with the, uh, the, the flight characteristics in various places uh, to bring them to where they are. Yeah, and it's gotta get all of them, right? So it's gotta have all the, it's gotta be light, it's gotta have a big wing surface, it's gotta have some kind of flapping ability. Mm, sure. All that sort of thing has to be all in place before they can start flying. Now they might, and the, and the hypothesis is, you know, they start on trees and they jump off and they start as gliders, and then they learn how to flap their wings and then keep themselves up mm. off the ground. But yeah, flight's a complicated thing.